What's up guys? Today I have another unboxing for you. I just got off of work, so pretty tired, but put this unboxing out just because I really want to open it. But I don't want to do that without making an unboxing video. So pretty big box. You can probably guess what's in here. But yeah, this one's from uh this one's from Evike. This is the first time I've ever ordered from Evike. I've heard a lot of bad stuff about their shipping. It takes forever. I paid three days shipping and I got here in three days, so. Thumbs up for e-bike. So, we're gonna start opening this. All right. All right, so we got shipping information. A free admission to e-bike for something. Doesn't much matter though, because I don't live in California, so hold that down. All right, so the first thing we have is a M95, yeah, M95 AEG spring from Evike. Evike made spring or a partnership with anything, but this is, oh, that's strange. They don't have it marked, but I'm pretty sure I ordered an M95. Yep, M95 right there. So this should give me about a 330 FPS with whatever gun I put this into. So then next I have some P90 mag pouches. Now I bet you're all guessing, oh, he bought a P90, he bought a P90, yay, he bought a P90. No, I didn't. I mean, kind of. So I want you all to guess what gun I got, but it's not a P90. So now for the gun. We get, oh, how am I supposed to get this thing out of here? All right, there we go. We got an Echo One. Play hard, play safe. So let's open this up. Top lid, fancy American flag. And next you have a really, really nice Foam keeps it real, all secure and everything. Echo One warranty card. All right, so first off in the box, I'm gonna show you the gun last, just to screw with you guys. First in the box, we have flip up iron sights. Echo One makes some pretty nice flip up iron sights, full metal. Um, I have the same flip up iron sights on my Echo One Troy Seven. CQB style gun. So, they're not spring loaded, they just flip up. Like my makeshift flashlight zip tied on there. Pretty bright. So, yeah. Now, Echo One guns, most of the time, not all the time, but most of the time, do come with a trickle charger. Obviously, you don't want to use this if you have a smart charger. And then it comes with a 9.6 butterfly type battery for any crane stock you want to throw it into. And now the gun. So now I thought this gun was discontinued because it said discontinued on Airsoft GI, but I got this gun for $110 and it retails for one or no, $230. I got it $110. So it's like more than 50% off. So I figured I have to buy it. It's full metal. And it's a pretty unique gun. So, the gun that I'm about to show you is the AR-57, the M4 that uses P90 mags. So you can put an M4 mag in here. Six position, adjustable crane stock. One, two, three, maybe it's four, I don't know. But there's that. Put the front sights on, get rid of that. Hideous orange flash hider. Trigger feels real nice. It's you can tell it's a brand new trigger, so it'll get some breaking into. Um, got a charging handle. Makes a real nice clack. So yeah, this charging handle doesn't do anything. You can't access the hop up from that. So now, since I've showed you the gun, now I'm going to show you these awesome. 
P90 mags that it takes with the dummy rounds. Comes with two of these. I'm pretty sure these are 50 or 60 rounds. I'm not sure. But they are mid caps, so it comes with two mid caps. So right there, you're already ahead of the game. All right, now let's see if I can put this mag in without screwing this up. This is like my first P90 type gun. Mag fits in there nice. There's a little bit of wobble, but that shouldn't be a problem. Looks real nice. Wow. There it is. You got, I'm pretty sure this is a 10 inch Riz rail system that's on here. Full metal. The entire gun is full metal, other than the polymer stock and polymer pistol grip. And then, mag. Seen people do these on videos, it looks really cool, but I don't know if my hands are big enough to do it, but they kind of pull up and then pull this back at the same time. So. Yeah. So that'll get some getting used to, but I do plan on taking this out to the next grid code iron triangle airsoft op and seeing how this thing does. I don't know if I want to convert this to like a DMR platform, but look, a huge suppressor on here just cause, I mean, it'd be pretty cool if you got shot by like an M4 P90 from like a thousand yards away. No, I'm screwing with you. Not a thousand yards, maybe like a thousand inches. But yeah, this gun is a pre-upgraded gear gearbox, LiPo ready, 30 day warranty. So, mags fit real nice. Like I said before, a little bit of wobble, but you get that with every mags. So, a little bit. Not much rattle to the gun itself. Now, you can put an M4 mag in here. I don't have one laying out right now, but you can put one in there. You can store tools in it. You can store anything you want in there, extra BBs, wipes for your goggles, whatever you want. But yeah, so Air 57 P90 on sale on Evike right now for $110. Completely full metal gun. Um, the Chrono says that this thing shoots about 410, 415 FPS, so that's why I got the spring. So I can dumb that down, play CQB if I wanted to. So there you have it, the AR-57. With some awesome trademarks. So, there you go. Have fun. And as Echo One says, play safe, play harder. Maybe it's the other way around. Yeah, it's the other way around. But, oh well. So, have fun. Always wear eye protection. Be safe. Don't be a dumbass. Buy an AR-57. See ya.